back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After. This is season six, episode 11, and the title of this episode is Man Up or Shut Up. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about Michael and Angela. But before we get started, besties, do your girl a big favor, whether you're new or you're returning back to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit the bell so that you will be notified on future uploads. And I have my handy dandy phone here. I will be reading from my notes. That's just how I do it over here. So I'm gonna read from my notes so that I stay on topic and focus on what I'm talking about in regards to these two. So Michael has been blowing up Angela's phone. No. So Michael has been blowing up Skyla's phone, trying to get a hold of Angela. He's trying to get through and Angela lights a cigarette and blames that on Michael. So how they start this episode is Angela made sure to show herself cleaning, sweeping her house. I just really thought that was hilarious because even Skyla seemed surprised that her mom was cleaning the house. Now, Angela knows that she doesn't clean that house like she should. Now, y'all remember the big old heap of crumbs and cigarette butts that was on that floor that the camera crew kept zooming in on to make sure that us, the viewers, got to see just how nasty Angela is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Angela encourages her mom to call Michael and she's like, I'm not y'all's counselor. I'm not gonna be in the middle. I'm not here to help y'all fix it basically. So you need to call your husband so he can stop calling me. Like I said, she's encouraging her mom to call Michael, but she says that she is not calling him, but turns right around and calls him. Angela says that there were times when she couldn't get a hold of Michael after her surgery. So it makes her feel like it's what he should have been doing weeks ago. So if you can do it now, she feels like when she was having that surgery and needed him the most, needed him to be her support, he could have been doing that then and he did not. Angela, while smoking, tells Skyla that she went to see her lawyer and was advised by Lou not to go through with filing for a divorce. Skyla quickly says, why? Because you know Skyla definitely is not team Angela and Michael. She does not want to see her mom married to him. And well, we're team Michael. We don't want to see Michael married to Angela. So Angela says that Lou believes that her and Michael really deserve a chance as a couple. Now, since when does Angela listen to any man? She actually didn't go through with it because Lou told her that they deserve a chance and Angela never listens to a man. She does what she wants to do. She's in control. So how is how is that working? I think that Angela's full of it. And if she was easily talked out of that, that's because she never intended to go through or with filing a divorce in the first place, okay? I just feel like either she just needed some screen time or a place to film for the day. So she says that she doesn't need a man and she never has, but then turns right back around and decides to FaceTime Michael because she's not done verbally abusing him. Michael says that Angela has blocked him on everything, so that's why he's reaching out to Skyla. He's she's blocked him on what's WhatsApp, he said, on Facebook and all these other social media platforms. She has blocked him. Angela is doing her normal trash talking, and Michael this time around is using his voice to speak up. He's not backing down or holding back like he normally does. He's laughing at her, clapping and clapping, and just like it's like, wow, Michael, where you been at all this time? You should have been standing up like this. And really chuck the deuces. Angela pulls the, I'm an American. I'm in the land of the free. Disgusting, okay? Disgusting that she keeps using that and disgusting just, it didn't make me feel good when she said that. Like, I'm an American and I'm in the land of the free. I didn't like it. I didn't like it one bit. So Michael says, let me tell you something. And Angela says that she's been letting Michael get away with what he wants to do for too long. And I was confused because Michael has never been able to do what he wants. Michael has never been able to dictate control, make a suggestion. Everything has been on Angela's terms. She's been in control. So what does she mean she's been letting him get away for too long? What has he been doing? His life has been controlled by her. Now, I feel like, on the other hand, I do realize that a lot of this is on Michael because he has allowed 
all of this for so long. And all of this has been driven by his desire to get a green card, come over here and meet Trump. And during that time, he has lost all self-respect. And it's just really sad to see. It's a sad thing, honestly, because no one should take that type of treatment from anyone. Now, he doesn't have to be with Angela, okay? He chooses to be because it's not her heart or her personality that he's in love with. He likes her breasts, her taking care of him, and that she can possibly get him over to America. All that abuse he's been receiving from her isn't worth it. It's not worth it. When Angela calls him out about cussing her out, she's like, everybody know I, everybody knows I curse, but you, you try to play all innocent when you, you call me out of my name too, you curse me out, you call me bees. And Michael's response was, well, because you deserve it now. I said, what? Michael, Michael, where have you been? Where have you been? Now, I'm not in agreement with any man cussing out a woman, but what would you expect if they were being, if the man was the one in this in this situation being abused? Anyone is, at some point, everybody has a breaking point. You're going to go off, snap off, because you're just going to be so tired and fed up. And I think definitely that's what this is. You know, Michael is fed up with the whole situation. Michael says that since they got together, he's been letting her win, but this time he's not because he's just tired of it. I was no more good when Angela said to him, maybe I'll just find a man to take care of me so that I don't have to take care of him. And Michael started clapping and telling her, clap for yourself. <laughs> and when she also was like, um, yeah, because of you, I'm smoking and all this stuff. And he was like, hmm, really? You know? <laughs> I thought it was so hilarious, him. Like, he was clapping and stuff. Like, clap for yourself. You find you a man down there that'll take care of you. Angela hangs up the video call on Michael. And the production says to Angela, what should have Michael have done? And Angela says, Michael should have said, baby, I miss you. da 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 <laughs> He should have said, baby, I miss you. Da, 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 and da, 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 da. <laughs> like, who does Angela think she is? Oh, man. It, I just thought it was hilarious. This episode with these two was hilarious. She has that somebody has to give in and it won't be her. Then she proceeds to light another cigarette. So, like I said, this was a funny episode, and I pointed out to you all the parts that I thought was so funny to me. Michael clapping, you know, him standing his ground. I'm really proud of him, but I feel like it's like, why it take you so long to finally stand up to this woman and stand your ground? And I feel like Angela doesn't know what to do, because even at her own mouth, I think during one of her confessionals, she's like, you know, he's not backing down. Like, he's not... She's used to getting her way, you know, her like being aggressive and being abusive um, towards him. And he basically just kind of like buckles, you know, but this time around, Michael's like bump that. But I feel like he should have done that from the very beginning. And then by this time, if it was still going on, then chucking the deuces or before they got married, chuck the deuces and be like, it's not worth it. But I'm very curious to know what you all thought, my besties. In that comment section down below, this was 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, season six, episode 11. And the title of this episode is Man Up or Shut Up. We talked all about Michael and Angela. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming out this week. If this video is not up, midweek then it'll be probably towards the end of the week so i just want to say either have a great week or have an awesome weekend and i will see you all in the next video peace